Razzle Dazzle, liberal comrades, and welcome to another episode of, uh, let's get on with it, Alien Crossfire. During the brief time that I've spent, uh, between the last episode and this one, I stopped freaking out and realized it was a great way to deal with the drone ride. Observe. I just made a specialist. The specialist is a doctor, which adds plus two psych. The psych bonus chills the drone the fuck out. And there's a police unit there. Also chilling another drone the fuck out. It's apparently in Transcend, every citizen after the first one becomes a drone. Uh, yeah. So there will be a drone ride there for one turn that'll chill out. By the way, just so you know, folks, when a drone ride happens, you can't do jack shit. Like, this unit I would have used as another police unit. Can't be built. Can't even hurry production. Originally, I was thinking about spiriting another unit from Omnipotence over to the Temple of Grimoth. Then I stopped being a moron. This, uh, I reckon I should have him just build forests all around. Those will be better in the late game, but, bah. I'm a hands-off type of guy whenever it comes to terraforming. You do what you want to do, and I'll let you know if you're doing it wrong later. Oh, that's unfortunate. The Isle of Deep is the naval version of the, the, the planet uh, defenses. Known as Mind Worms. It's absolutely exciting. I'm totally glad it's there. By totally glad, I mean not totally glad at all. I'm fucking broke. Yeah, we lost it. Alrighty, now that we have a unit there, the police, we can take off the doctor and everybody's okay. If in the event the city grows too damn fast again, we'll, we'll pull out another damn doctor. And son of a bitch, you're going to die. I'm going to die. Oh, Captain Svensgard. Yar har fiddle dee dee. Being a pirate is alright to me. So the familiar face of Master Grimoth. I, Captain Svensgard of the pirates. Arr! Offer greetings. I should have. I should have enunciated all. Should have put an emphasis on all the R's. Word of your accomplishments has spread since the time of planet fall. You may be aware that I plan to harness the vast potential of the oceans. Do not attempt to interfere. I'm not going to read out anymore. Excellent. Quid pro quo. Quid pro quo trade. I like that. And another quid pro quo trade. I like that as well. This one's not so even. I'll make it even here. And no. Nah. Nah, we'd like to reserve judgment. Our expansion plans may yet come into conflict. I don't like signing treaties from with people whenever I first meet them. I like just having truth with, with everyone and then settling out who I want to ally with later. You see, there's something called uh, integrity in this game. For the moment, I am noble, and I will remain noble until I prove myself otherwise. Like if I break my treaties dishonorably to backstab people in the face. Uh, alrighty. Let's just go with another turn, and we will research this next. That will be useful. Let me see if I can design anything else good. I can design a laser unit. Pew pew! Nah. Uh, any other special abilities? Nope. Okay. You go do back to exploring stuff. I need to build more colony bases. Colony pods. Good, you're working on one. You! Uh... After you finish that. Um, I don't know. You! You need to work on formers. Former? Former, and we'll build... That. You, uh... Colony pot again? And then we'll build that? I don't know yet. We'll see. For now, we'll set him to defend. Hopefully I've seen enough of the map to give me a fair idea of where is best to settle. Eh, and if not too bad. Okie doke. Continue along. Mistress Lyuba of the Lovers has authorized a secret project codenamed Human Genome Project. That'd be handy to have too, but the weather paradigm's gonna be more useful. I think. 
in my opinion. Chairman Yang, Sister Miriam. Woohoo! Oh, Papa. Oh, that reminds me. I need to turn off secret project movies. If I if I leave those on and I finish building a secret project, uh, the video will pop up, but it's totally gonna screw up the way in which I'm somehow recording Alien Crossfire in a window. And I don't want to have to stop the recording because of that. I'm so I'm sorry. You're gonna have to miss out on the cinematics. Maybe I will upload them somehow to you folks later. Uh, build another one of those and then get back to work on that former. Because we're going to send out one of these guys, naturally, to there. Another great spot for a city. That's actually better. That puts me in contact with four resources. But I like to conserve my space and keep these cities as cl relatively close. I spread them out too far the way it is. Uh, I shouldn't be so concerned about preserving the Fat Cross as uh, keeping my cities close together, but I, I end up being a picky bitch. Things don't work out the way I want them to. Yeah. Alrighty. Woohoo! No, I don't want to switch that module. That will give us access to... No, that's not going to do me much good. And that... Nah. -uh. I guess we'll have to do industrial base. Um, here we go. I'll showcase. Uh, planned economics gives you plus two growth and an additional industry boost. Now, the plus two growth would absolutely, you know, it would remove my growth penalty and decrease my cost by an additional ten percent. But uh, the inefficiency penalty, I I don't like, and I worry about that so much. Uh, basically re removes the amount of energy I can intake I can net you'll notice my income actually goes down by one sure I mean you'll think oh your population will boom faster <laughs> on the other hand this is transcend difficulty folks and uh, I got a feeling I'm gonna be hard-pressed to control my population the way it is so I'm not gonna be so quick to jump for joy on that one I'm probably gonna have a damn uh, problem with uh, drones before I finish building the weather paradigm actually Wonderful. Woo! Alien artifact! Sweet! Uh, what's the closest way to get to one of my cities? There? <laughs> we'll find out. That's important to have. Just cancel movement. I'll, I'll deal with it myself. Alien artifacts, if you hook them up to a network node in your base, it gives you a free technology. Woohoo! I like free, like I, I think I've said before, I like free stuff. Also, welcome to the party, Hand of the Reaper. Stop trying to build those. I thought I made those ops. I guess since they're like a core design, they can't be made. Whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, build that. Then that, and you're going to need another one of those. Follow that up with that, 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 and we'll follow that up with a network. No, not a pressure dome. Network node. Damn it. And support from here. Exciting. Action-packed adventure. Romance. Desire. Not really. Okie doke. Be very careful where we move. Don't want to instigate any doom. I'm not landing him there. You're retarded. He'll get destroyed. Mm, and you also get to be automated. Auto-improve your home base. I'm also not steading him off right there. You are a silly game. S silly, silly game. Alrighty. Yep, I forgot. Stop. <laughs> Can I finish? No, it's drone ride anyway. I forgot. No. You're damn right they ended, and I hate to try to move him off in fungus. Oh shit. I saw that ninja. I saw that unit ninjing. I disapprove of ninjas. Aha! He popped out there. Can he reach my. No. I'm gonna move him back on the ship just in case. Uh, mine worms get ridiculously fun movement. Uh, they travel, uh, they treat fungus as roads. 
So they can travel through three fungus squares in one turn, and also he has a river there that he can use. So I'm going to tantalize this mine worm with my uh, trans scout infantry right there. Hopefully I will say it win the day. Yes, and I did. Yes, of course, we have drone rights again because I left the damn city. Sigh. Okie doke. Get on back with exploring again. Shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck my... <laughs> Uh, three turns. Damn it. Well, okay, he can't reach my guy if I move him here. Yes. You son of a fucking... Where the fuck was that attack at? I don't even know that happened too fast. Ah, oh, shit, I'm almost out of time.